हेलो दोस्तों आवर टूडे टॉपिक इज वे प्रोबोगेशन इन लॉसी डायलैक्ट्रिक बिफोर वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट वे प्रोबोगेशन इन लॉसी डायलैक्ट्रिक फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टोड वट इज लॉसी डायलैक्ट्रिक लॉसी डायलैक्ट्रिक इज बेसिकली दैट थिंग इन विच ई एम वेव्स लूज इज पावर ड्यू टू पुअर कंडक्शन इन लॉसी डायलैक्ट्रिक द कंडक्शन इज वेरी पुअर इन अदर वर्ड्स लॉसी डायलैक्ट्रिक इज आल्सो कॉल्ड a partially conducting medium consider uh, now we have to calculate wave propagation in lossy dielectric so we have first of all know that uh, uh, we have consider consider a linear isotropic homogeneous lossy dielectric medium lossy dielectric medium that is charge free now which means rho v is equal to 0 now we have to understand what is four maxwell equation as we know that maxwell equations first is c is equal to 0 second will be 0 third minus g omega mu hs and these are basically four maxwell equations now these are four basically maxwell equations now from equation third third from equation third curl of es equal to minus j omega mu h s taking curl on both side curl of curl of es is equal to minus j omega mu curl of hs now we have uh, solving this by identity which is basically curl of curl of a is equal to curl del of del of a minus del square a now we have to solve this by using this identity that will be del of del of es minus del square es is equal to minus j omega mu del into hs now we have to uh, know that from maxwell first equation this term will be equal to 0 therefore minus del square es equal to minus j omega mu del of curl of sorry hs now this we have equation from equation 4 that will be happened minus del square es is equal to minus j minus minus cancel j omega mu and j omega e plus sigma e s this is where finally we get theek okay? hai now this whole term will be gamma square therefore gamma square therefore del of es is equal to gamma square es and del square es minus gamma square es is equal to 0 uh, and this is for electric field now for magnetic field the equation will be like that del square hs minus gamma square hs is equal to 0 equation a and equation b same procedure is used to calculate this term also now uh, while you have to calculate this thing you should first notify 
uh, first use the equation number four then we you proceed and you get this result and this uh, equations are called Holtzman equation now uh, we also know that that gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta and gamma is also equal to uh, which is uh, previously we calculate gamma square is equal to j omega mu bracket sigma plus j omega epsilon okay and uh, this uh, by taking their real term only real term only real term only uh imagine term should be equal to zero in real term imagine term should be zero equal to omega square epsilon mu and this is also equal to minus ka and this is equal to alpha square minus beta square and uh, it is rearranged and write as minus gamma square is equal to omega square epsilon mu equal to beta square minus alpha square and uh, finding the magnitude we have get while we have to finding uh, uh, the magnitude uh, the equation will be alpha square plus beta square is equal to is equal to magnitude of gamma square equal to omega mu root of sigma square plus omega square epsilon square and while we adding equation while we adding equation five and six while we adding equation five and six we get two beta square is equal to two beta square is equal to omega square epsilon mu plus omega mu root of sigma square plus omega square epsilon not square now we uh, should beta square is equal to uh, here we take omega square is uh, common and this equation is this and uh, mu and this will be sigma square plus omega square epsilon square and by 2 and here we take beta square is equal to what we have to take beta square omega square bracket mu epsilon by 2 bracket this and uh, this is sigma square by omega square epsilon square plus 1 plus 1 and when we have to beta is equal to omega square mu epsilon by 2 root of sigma square by epsilon square epsilon square plus omega sigma square omega square epsilon square plus 1 plus 1 and this get 1 by 2 because we uh, take scale on this side simple and uh, uh, simple uh, and when you subtract then you get the value of alpha and which is equal to omega root of mu epsilon by 2 root of sigma square omega square epsilon square plus 1 and minus 1 this you get for the value of alpha uh, this is basically you have to calculate the value of alpha and beta now without loss we assume that now now without any loss we assume that we propagate wave propagate in said direction 
and es component in x direction therefore es is equal to es x z into ax therefore from equation a from equation a del square es minus gamma square es is equal to zero and this is also written as del square minus gamma square e s is equal to zero and this is also written as del of e s x z by del of x plus del square e s x y del y cos square plus del e of s x y del z square minus gamma e s x z is equal to zero now this term is equal to zero this term is equal to zero and therefore del e s x z by del z square minus gamma square e s x z is equal to zero and this is right as del square del z square minus gamma square e s x into z is equal to zero this term is basically in scalar form now the solution of this equation will be solution of this equation will be solution of this particular equation will be what e s x z is equal to e naught e raised to minus gamma z plus e naught dash e raised to gamma z now e naught and e naught dash are the constant now it will be required that the finite value uh, the field must have finite value at infinity therefore this term will be zero and remaining this term is happen and which is written as esx z is equal to e naught e raised to minus gamma z and this equation taking including time factor in this uh, equation then we have to get e z comma t equal to real of esx z e raised to j omega t inserting time factor inserting time factor which is e j omega t when we have to insert time factor this equation will be happen and e z comma t is also rewrite this equation which is real of e naught e raised to minus gamma z <sighs> e raised to minus gamma z e raised to j omega t ax okay ax now this this can be write as real of gamma kya hota hai alpha plus j beta so e0 e raised to minus alpha z e raised to j j omega t minus beta z into ax and this this will be what cos real of e naught e raised to minus alpha z cos of omega t minus beta z ax now you should take the same procedure to calculate the magnetic field also which is uh, basically this will be happen e naught 
e रेस टू माइनस अल्फा z cos सॉरी h नॉट एच नॉट एस टू माइनस अल्फा जेड कॉस ओमेगा टी माइनस बीटा जेड माइनस थीडा ई वाई दिस विल बी दिस विल यू गेट यू इन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो दिस इज दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द वेव प्रोपोगेशन इन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड ऑल्सो यू शुड remember this uh, the relation between e not and h not h not is equal to e not by eta and eta is equal to intrinsic impedance thank you